And this is it. This is time, the finals of this paddling pool 213. I am Pat here back with Daddy. Hello. And we are about to see best of five starting on Monte Maria Splat Zones, then counter pick between Please Forfeit versus ASC Tenshi. And you've all seen ASC Tenshi clutch the 3 0 in semi finals. I can tell you, free, please forfeit. They, what did they do in bracket? They got their semi-finals 3-2-2 versus 1500 D-Buck. But we are starting right away here on Monta Maria. Yep. And this is going to be a fun stage because, oh, bit of an unexpected pick right there. Normally I wouldn't recommend playing E-Leader. It is what it is, and I guess we are seeing a completely new comp from ASC Tenchi. Last time they were not running yeah. Double Machine and uh, that kind of L3, but... An L3D with the Burst Bomb, um, interesting. That's a pretty unique peak on the side of ASC Tenchi. I don't think I've seen many L3Ds around, especially at that level. I don't think people have given giving L3 the chance just because it has stamp on it. However, after some given stamp buffs, I wouldn't blame them if they wanted to start playing it just a bit. Ooh. However, it looks like a police forfeit is immediately getting some awesome advantage. Range pressure from E Leader and combined with the fact that you have a tri slosher and Junior for paint. Well, Junior for paint and tri is kind of there. Uh, that tri slosher is not a good idea. Please forfeit right now, still in control of the zone. Yes, it is looking for a way to get back in, waiting for the specials. Three specials ready. The Boya Bombs are going to be able to at least neutralize the zones. Ooh, very nice! Very nice oh. trade, but that's not going to be enough if the rest of your team gets picked up. And yeah, getting wiped at that last minute. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. what needs to happen. There. And Zenith not being an absolute demon, keeping as much attention as possible in ASC's court, but ASC not falling for it, trying to get the zone. Not a blind penalty though. Yeah, they just don't have enough paint. This junior yeah. is it just able to maintain the zone. And that's that was a interesting first game. Like I I'm surprised that ASC Tenshi changed their comp so much. I think for the first game you can try things, you can create a bit of surprise in the enemy, but I expect ASC Tenshi to, to come back to their senses and go to something that, that's going to love them to, to counter all a bit what Peace Forfeit is doing, and there's a lot to counter in Peace Forfeit. Peace Forfeit so powerful in that game one. Mm-hmm. Well, it's okay. You win some, you lose some. And the match is in uh, ASC Tenchi's hands right now as they have the counter pick. So I'm thinking we're probably going to be going into splat zones. Seems to be what we all like going into splat zones. I mean... We just were in splat zones, and I'm not sure is it and she enjoyed it much. Really? I wouldn't mind playing splat zones again. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, I feel like something that allows AS Tenshi to. I mean, not zones on this map mode, because this map mode really gave them trouble. On the, it, I couldn't tell you exactly one weapon on, on the side of Peace Forfeit, but we stood out as the problem. It's like this team really was constantly attacking and creating problems left and right for your Tenshi. Hmm. Yeah, the composition that they ran with um, 
I thought it was a bit of a strange comp with the... Um, mm -hmm. Prize Saucer, Junior, Elier, and Wiper. Like, yep. Wiper yep. goes yep. and gets engages. It can also chip in 60 for 62 with Tri Slosher. Junior just paints a lot, and then E-Leader. Although I might have not played it on Mount Maria. Just applied so much pre range presser from mid. It's pretty difficult. Dif it was a pretty difficult thing to get around. Mm -hmm. However, we're going to be seeing things now in Splat Zone's Hagglefish. Looks like I was right, Pat. Yes, looks like you were right this yes. time. And um, this is... This could be a difficult map for ASC Tenchi because I play E-Leader. And let me just say, E-Leader can be one of the most restrictive things on this map. Or you just pressure them out. Yeah, I, I think ASC just want less ledge on their map because the Wiper and the Tristosher have been such a menace on the front line. And if you find a, just a way to, to throw something at the editor, you can get away with that. But that constant pressure that is put on ledges by the Tristosher and the Wiper is a bit less powerful on this map. Looks like ASC Tenshi moving with a ballpoint that you love so much. Oh yes, I love me my ballpoint. Though I will say, this is a nightmare matchup for it. Yeah, at least in the anchor v anchor side of things, because mm -hmm. Elite v ballpoint, that is like negative 3 ballpoint matchup. But it uh, looks like a ballpoint's down anyways. And I didn't see him get yeah. picked off by the Elite, but... Please forfeit right now, just got the recap of the zone, already finding himself up in a situation, and this Elyr is now starting to take space. Ooh. Okay. Trips are being popped as well to apply pressure. Mm. Get caught up by a stray splat bomb, and it looks like the zone just flipped with possession. Lou popping up an inkjet. Oh yeah, my <laughs> Oh yeah, you, you, you're in your bubble? Well, I'm in your bubble too with my flying death machine. Yeah, you can't, you can't be a bubble boy anymore. Yeah. Lou said you're no longer a bubble boy. In this intensity, they managed to apply a bit of penalty and again, they apply, but Kana is going to jump out. Woo! Very nice double by itself. AC Tenshi finally getting momentum, finally getting there. He's going to be punished first, but right now ASC, they're in a good position to score a lot of points if they manage to keep this position Albo there with the machine. So threatening, so powerful. Yeah. Ooh, getting it looks in. like this machine's just able to keep sharking that area. Yeah. I, think, I don't think they're going to be able to get that tri because they have the high ground. We, we don't want them to lose via, via Star Wars reference. <laughs> but that's, that doesn't matter. The tri show was picked up by someone else. And right now, ASC Tenshi, they are looking for the KO. That's that's the kind of counter pick that you want. Never mind the editor. Yep. Five points away, and that's it. Paint. Congratulations, ASC. Yeah, that, that was definitely a nice recovery right there. But evening out the score, however, looks like our, our uh, police forfeit team is going to have to get a counterpick up and ready. I don't think they can counterpick zones again. I, I can't fully remember the counterpick rules. I feel like it's usually only maps rather than modes. Uh, can't pick the same so. map mode again, I know that for sure. Yep, uh, and I think that's pretty much it for this tournament. Hmm. I don't expect Please Forfeit to go back to what? zone. Okay, well, they are going to zones again, and we are going to the editor paradise that is Brine Water Springs. Yep, Yoshell's gonna have the time of their life, given uh, if they play scope and they're able to get click heads. We, we should have seen that one coming, to be honest. No, I didn't see that one coming. I don't even e like counterpicking this map. E <laughs> it, it, it's E-Leader. Yet, it yet even I don't like this map. They... Uh... One simple word I will say is crab. That's why I don't like this map. Hey. It's if you pop crab on the snipe, 
you're still able to hit the E-leader with your lob shots. If and... you're an eighty to one trick, you're, you're used to that. You're used to fighting crabs left and oh, right. I'm, I'm I'm way too used to it. There's a reason why I say go for. There's a reason why I try to headshot them. <laughs> That's not a guaranteed kill, though, unfortunately. But if even if I miss, I usually hit the crab thing. So. And it is now battle time. One one. No Ooh, comp the scope. Change. Yeah. No. Oh, a uh, comp change for AS Tenshi again, bringing the 52 gap. <sighs> I don't blame him. Ballpoint doesn't have a good matchup, so it's probably best to switch to another weapon that could have a better matchup. And right there, E leader immediately pressured off yep. by this machine dropping right side. Is that a uh, wiper? Can this good trade? Very good trade, and right now Peace for Fed looking to keep the zone, but that's not gonna work. They are Tenshi applying penalty, taking control of it, and now looking to push a bit more forward. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a while before they're able to get a lock because they're down Ooh. one player. Try slasher just oh, three. holding forward. That's three down, and it's just the 52 guy, wherever they are. Where are they? I oh, think they're bottom two. right, but yeah, they're just bing chilling. Nice. Hello. Uh, I think they're just waiting for someone to pop up up so that way they can kill them, but they need they need some paint down though. So that much. They and right paint. now Lee's gonna flip over to in favor of please forfeit. Mm -hmm. And there's an inkjet. Is it gonna get taken out? And it is. Well, That's two down. Yes, he he has an advantage right now. They're able to get the recap on the zone, and are they able to get find the pick on that guy over there? I don't think so. Zenith is doing a good job just trying to live, popping a stamp. Stay alive and never kill somebody. Eh, did they get it? I, I can't tell. But so Zenith, they, they took a lot of time from uh, ASC Tenshi, but ASC Tenshi, they don't mind. They have a zone on their side. And right now, they have a lock on the ramp, forcing Yusha to, to really try to get a pick. And with even numbers right now, oh, never mind. Zone is able to over the police forfeit. And it's a two down situation for ASC Tenchi. Are they going to be able to win that 1v1 against the Wiper? No, unfortunately yeah. not. I thought they were. It's 52 gal. Yeah, but the Wiper has deceptive but... range. And hey, oh, look at, the, look, at, look, at, look at Seb. How do they get there? <laughs> How do they get there? Oh, good and they get a think. They get a trade for, for that move. That's pretty good for them. But yes, but you still in the lead and I do advise them to keep things alive for themselves. These folks are not really profiting from the E to that much. Yeah, E leader can be difficult Ooh. to use the situation. It looks like Seth just <laughs> once again weasel around, harass the E leader That's off. A trade. Oh my god, Seb is just reminding me of all these sploosh, the sploosh. Seb <laughs> playing like a Tetris with a splash. <laughs> hey, 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 the, the, the rat splash is working. <laughs> yeah, working pretty well. And right now, AS and Shiv, they don't have penalty anymore. Peaceful Fed, they finally get that cap on the zone. But they, not for long, they used so many resources just to get that. ASC Tenshi are painting the zone again. Ooh! Ooh. That's Very what nice. I like to call a nick. A nick? Yeah, just a... Uh... Okay. This one felt finally in control. Your shell not moving forward yet, still trying to keep things alive. Penalty's over if Please Forfeit manages to keep. That's two down, down, actually, this is advantage. Yeah. And ASC have been so strong this game. Please Forfeit needs something, needs something now. It looks like their counterpick is not working in their favor. Oof. Well, 
Looks like they went down two down, so ASC Tenchi is going to have to wait a little bit, but they're still able to maintain control of the zone. Their penalty is almost up, so they'll be able to start scoring points on the board. Two down off Lee's forfeit. Three down. And still ASC Tenchi is hanging in there. Trying to DPS down that bubble so they can get to the junior, and I don't think uh, Police Forfeit's gonna have a chance to get back in. Yeah, that's Wait, good wait, wait. Game. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Game three going to ASC Tenshi, and that means ASC Tenshi is one game away from being your paddling pool champions. But you still never know. You never know if Police Forfeit's gonna get another map and get another win. However, I don't think they can counter pick into they can't counter pick into Brian Water again, so that's uh I don't think they can do that. Very yeah, unfortunate though, but I'd like to say I like to think that ASC Tenchi played around that E leader very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that E leader was constantly pressured. ASC Tenchi, they they knew what they had to do to counter that E leader to punish the frontliners. They did it so well and they kept control of the zone. So, so well, there were so many times where Peace Forfeit, even with the fight in their favor, could not get near the zone. ASC Tenshi, very be beautiful game of zones for them, and they are one game away right now, but it's Peace Forfeit's second counter pick. Mm hmm. Tick tock, here we're waiting. Hmm. Next. Well, we're gonna have to let them decide. I still think that they might just go to zones again, because I don't blame them for picking zones again. I'd pick zones, though. So maybe not. They you could always have to zones. pick something else. Tower you control. There are three modes. Yeah, there. No, there's five modes. There's turf war. No, that's no, that's. Not in paddling pool, first of all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's, there still is. Uh, still does exist. Yeah, clam blitz. It's fun. It's a fun, it's fun mode. I like watching clam blitz. I like playing clam blitz. Come on, give, give me some clam blitz. I know they will. I like clam blitz too. They won't go to Glam Bleed start with an Elite on the team. <laughs> and guess what? We will go to Tower Control on Ingrat Art Academy. ASC Tenshi has seen that before. ASC Tenshi have seen that in semi finals where they were one game away from taking the set. The opponent team counterpick Tower Control Awning Blood and ASC Tenshi was a okay with that. So I believe ASC Tenshi to not mind this counterpick at all. Right. Yeah, I, re I remember ASC Tenshi doing this. Uh, what? Or was it a different map? Map. What? I know, I know, it's Tower Control in Blob, but like, but just, did we see? Did we see them winning? Yes. We, Try, we I'm trying them. to not have Dory memory here. Yeah, we don't. And I can't Dory. remember. Man, we do not want Dory. My short-term memory is not good today. It's so unfortunate. For me, at least, I'm used to having it a lot perform a lot better. Seeing the E leader keep. Returning ballpoint returns as well. Oh man, this is gonna be the clash of the matchups. Hey. Yep, that ballpoint is coming back. And honestly, for tire control, you really love that that inkjet. Uh, I love it so much. I yeah, inkjet can there. definitely get some good value on this stage because you can pressure up higher grounds mm -hmm. very easily with it. And looks like Seb's able to get the early pick off on the enemy machine. Ooh, tank, and the early, early clap tank. Staying that to is a position I never thought anyone I'd see that early in the match. Seb's still there, getting another oh, pick. Got the machine twice. 
Seth finally shut down and thankfully for Please Forfeit is essentially not really able to follow Sam's path. Nothing happened with that, but Sam. Think to do. Ooh! That awesome. spike by the Inkjet. So, so good. Looks like we're seeing thing. how staggered those trips were, just that way they keep stalling for time until the teammates came back. I like that. I like some. Te I like text like that, where people just will stall out their trips for stuff like that. And good pick right there by E Leader. Are they gonna get another one though? Is my question. Ah, uh, two v three. They grab a jump out. Stay alive. They got one checkpoint, and that first checkpoint all can always be a pain to get. Now the the next pushes will be faster. Yes, it is she in control of me though. They should be able to assemble something provided they manage to push everybody back and right now for three versus three. Three versus one. It's just the editor Yoshel is going to have to move back. That checkpoint is going to go for AS Itachi very fast. Mm-hmm. Looks like uh, Crab Tank's also very well pushed up though. It felt like they were quite alone. I didn't think AS Itachi was very far into the enemy territory. Mm -hmm. Though they are able to get into the second checkpoint and start taking it down. Oh, good, good shot there. Good Ooh. shot, Yo Yoshel. Yeah. Please respect, for respect. Thanks get, to that last one? get that get that man, get that man. You can get him. Oh. oh. I was I was ready I was ready to say that you're uh <laughs> That's You're awesome. That, that double was still awesome. So yeah, you're still yeah. awesome. That double really gave uh, the opportunity to please forfeit to, to get some breathing room. But ASC Tenchi on the attack again, 2 versus 3, that's going to be probably the end of this attack. Seb not surviving this one and Liu with a ball point, making sure that their platform is secure, already preparing the defense to mine that incline, getting a pick but getting a trade instead. Yep, E leader doing what it does best. Shooting you and you're wondering how the heck did that hit me? <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even see that E-Leader hit hit that. So already ink just popped. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be getting as much just enough pressure, but no. That's going to force the attention to be back and right now, please forfeit. They are moving forward. Yosha on the tower. Not getting the snipe though, and that's a wipe out. Favor of the AAC, ASC with a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock. A minute and 15 seconds, and oh. they are your paddling pool champions. Yeah, I, I, I saw that machine duel, and I, even I'm in, I'm in confusion. <laughs> However, Crab Tank on the tower, oh boy, one of my favorite things because you have so much HP to deal with, and what are you going to do to that Crab Tank? Trips are being popped, pressure that E leader a bit, Booyah as well. ASC Tenchi is already down players. They're getting staggered a little bit with only less than a minute on the clock. I think it's best that they prepare themselves for the inevitable defense. Or at least maintain control of the tower right where it is. So I don't think they're going to be able to do that in this situation because they're too down. Yeah, they were Should trying to get as many flanks as they could to, to make sure that that final attack by this forfeit would be delayed as much as possible. And it looks like it's kind of working. They are falling, but the tower is not moving. And ASC Tenshi right now, three versus one, is just kind of who is respawning. ASC Tenshi, they have this. 14 seconds, and unless they do a huge mistake, they have this in the bag. Yeah, and they right now I think that at least forfeit is pretty desperate at this point. Yep. I'm don't think that, yeah, they're not going to be able to get that. That's GG's. AC Tenchi took that set. GG's, congratulations, AC Tenchi. You are getting yourself a new sender badge. I'm not sure. I think they've won Paddling Pool before. They I feel like they already have a send you badge of the, for Paddling yeah. Pool. So I think <laughs> they've been home. there so many times, but you are our Paddling Pool 213 champions. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And also, congratulations to Police Forfeit. You, you got to second place. That's that's still good.
Yeah, that was yeah. pretty cool. A good showing on the side of this forfeit. But that's going to be the end of this tournament for us, Danny. And Danny, where where can people find you? Oh, you can easily find me at, at Delphox Session on Twitter and even other social medias, including my uh, Supercell accounts. And I need to stop playing Supercell games before we before we commentate. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. And, and how about you, Pat? Let's, I am uh, let's Pat. Hear it for you. You can find me at Pat or Tom on Twitter with underscores between Pat and or and Tom. And that's pretty much all the only place you can find me. We are going to get a raid. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time. Yep, and thanks to Majora for casting for us.